Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kevin again. In this video, um, we're going to make it pretty quick. Um, I do want to talk about the C panel, though. That's the HostGator control panel. And HostGator has some um, some tutorials and information about this, and they kind of walk you through it, too. I think they, they, they used to have. I'm pretty sure they still do. Um, but I did want to make a quick video I'm um, just running through it. Now, to access your C panel, um, when you sign up for HostGator, they sent you that email. There's a lot of important information in there. I suggest also um, saving that email or, or copying and pasting it into a notepad or something. Uh, a lot of important information in there. But um, they will give you a link to access your cPanel. The, the link looks kind of crazy and you'll never remember it. But what you can do is you can go to whatever the domain was um, that you set up when you set up your hosting. I'm going to blow this up real quick here. Um, so like in, uh, like in my case, it's marketingwithkev.com. And then you can just do a forward slash cPanel like that. And that will take you to the screen that you're looking at here. Now, also, when you when you put more domains on your hosting, because you can add on as many domain names. Remember, this is the domain name right here. Um, you can add on as many as you like with that baby plan or, or um, the business plan. Any domain that you have added on, you can hit forward slash cPanel. And it still brings you to the exact same cPanel, your host gating, host gator cPanel. So, but that's just a, a real quick shortcut. I mean, just pop in your domain forward slash cPanel. Now you're going to have a login. Um, let me do that real quick. I'm going to I'm going to log out of here and do it like this. Now <clears throat> you're going to have a, a login here, and this is going to be in your email too. Um, your username and password. So this is actually what you're going to look like. What it's going to look like when you go to uh, your domain forward slash cPanel. You're going to see this screen. But then you can just log in, and here we go. So no biggie there. All right, let's run through this real quick. Um, this top bar, and you can actually move this stuff too. See how you, see how you just grab the blue there. Uh, grab the the title bar. And move it anywhere you like. So, uh, but by stock, I think it's going to look something like this. I don't think I've ever changed mine. All right. So this, up here we have special offers. Now these may may or may not look different on your screen. This is just what they're offering me, and it's really just um, uh, just a bunch of BS, really, to tell you the truth. But every now and then you'll see some cool stuff like a free one eight hundred one eight hundred number or something like that. Um, anyway, special offers. Okay, HostGator links. We can go into the billing system, account add-on support, um, website templates. That's another. I don't ever use it. Live support. Live support is actually really good with HostGator. It's one of the reasons I recommend them. Um, you can get help immediately, 24/7. It's really good. And they got the uh, conventional ticket system, email ticket system, and everything. So. Uh, on the preferences tab, we have uh, just some general settings. Getting started, uh, you may may want to look at that. Um, I'm gonna run through this. I don't think I've ever ran through this myself. Um, next step, it's gonna it's gonna introduce you to some um, uh, introduction to web hosting, how your site works, yada 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 yada. And I, actually, I'll tell you what, go ahead and read this. This is actually pretty inf pretty good information here because it will tell you like your home directory, um, your directory for FTP, which you uh, may or may not use. This is an important directory, though, because we'll be using that often. So kind of read up on that. So go into that and get starting. So uh, I'm going to go back in the home here. All right, so there's some video tutorials. That's, um, again, what I was talking about. 
at the beginning of the video. You can change your password. I definitely recommend doing that because that password that they give you is just generated and it's random and it's crazy and you'll never remember it. So you can even change the style of the cPanel and all this stuff. I honestly don't really mess with none of this or none of that stuff though. Okay, here we go. Into the mail tab here. Or the mail box, not tab. You can set up email accounts. This is what I was talking about in the description. So um like with marketing with Kev, if I wanted to set up um uh, just for example, John at see the at symbol there, marketing with Kev and then give John a password and uh mailbox quota um, usually set to unlimited you can create that account and then John can log in um, to the webmail uh, and check email online or you can set up a program like um, Outlook or even on your phone on your smartphone um, most Android and iPhones or all Android and iPhones and even Blackberries, just about any phone you can buy anymore. They'll have the mail option. You can set that up and you can check this email address on your phone directly too. So, and we may, we may get into that in a later video if you guys want. So, but that's, that's pretty much the email thing. Um, let's see what else do we have? Webmail. That's how you would check it online. Um, I'll show you a little trick on that too. It's really pretty easy. A lot. Um, if you want to check, like your email address, like John at, mark, at marketingwithkev.com, that one I just was going to set up. You can actually just take that C panel out and do one of those right there, forward slash webmail, and it'll allow John or whoever to log in and check their email online, like you would do like Gmail or Yahoo. You know, it's an online instead of uh, using your phone or, or Outlook on your computer. So, forward slash webmail, that'll get that done. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Forwarders, I use those all the time because I, I have a lot of different domains. And I'll just run through here real quick. But I, I use uh, a lot of those on, on this account. I actually have another hosting account too that I have a lot on too. Um, I use them a lot because I like checking one email address instead of you know 12 or whatever so I'll forward every email address that I set up to one so I can just check the one so forwarding is really cool uh, oh, responders I don't really don't mess with uh, and another setting we're going to talk about auto, auto responders so uh, let's see what else do we have here really don't mess with a lot of this other stuff free search engine tools yeah I wouldn't even touch that with a 10 foot pole it's it's probably and I haven't went through it but it's probably a bunch of BS that you don't need uh, your files this is an important tab your file manager is going to hold all your files um, like to your websites pictures videos all these other things that's going to be in your file manager um, we have the um, web disk you can use. Uh, this will go over disk space storage, yada yada. Uh, some logs here. I, uh, I really don't use anything other than AW stats because I like to compare it to Google Analytics. We'll talk about that later. Um, domains. This is important too. You can add on domains. Like if you buy uh, more domains, you can add them on here. Really easy. MySQL databases. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, Fantastico Deluxe. This is actually a really cool, especially for newbies. This is a really, really cool thing uh, to install scripts and websites on your hosting, and we'll get into that in another video. And maybe some Chrome jobs. We may talk about Chrome jobs a little bit too, but uh, that is just a, a really quick run through. I'm actually running out of time on the on the video um, but um that's a really quick run through of the C panel if you guys have any questions just uh, hit up the comments or shoot me an email or anything like that and we'll uh, we'll talk about it some more so
See you guys.